Hi everyone, this is Nail and welcome to my tiny studio. I hope that you are having a great Sunday afternoon. It is Sunday, March the 27th, 2022. I hope that you're having a really great day. Um, I'm going to be on here briefly because I am getting ready to prepare to tape my crochet and chat video and I am going to be talking about a yarn haul, a recent yarn haul, my whips, and I'll be also discussing Love and Marriage Huntsville on OWN Season 4 Episode 2. So I'll be discussing that a little later in filming. So I get it I hopefully hopefully you you will get a chance to check me out. If you haven't already done so please like and subscribe and I know it's kind of crazy to tell you to ask you to like a video before you have seen the whole video but if you are familiar with my new channel I am sure you know that most of the content that I present to you the audience is pretty decent content <laughs> pretty decent content and enjoyable content and um, so go ahead and like and also subscribe so that you will get the opportunity to know when I post new material and you will also be able to interact with me and see what's going on check out with me and see what's going on in the tiny studio each week or every every uh, few days or so depending on when I post I'm trying to come up with a schedule of posting because I don't want to I want to keep my content regular but I don't want to oversaturate my channel so I'm still working out working on how to do that and um, but I do post content on my podcast the spiritual musings of a brown girl on spotify so you can check me out there as well i will post a link to my podcast um at the bottom of this video um if you haven't already checked out my podcast uh, the spiritual musings of a brown girl i it's a podcast about um, spirituality some of the things that i i have learned about um being a spiritual woman spiritual brown woman of african descent and i talk about a lot of different things i talk about how to deal with grief I talk about uh, friendships I talk about toxic relationships I also speak on uh, the fundamental things that helps us e continue to evolve on our journey here as human being as spiritual beings having a human existence so if you get the opportunity and I will place the link in the description of this video check out my podcast the spiritual musings of a brown girl which um, there, which uh, new episodes premiere on Spotify and I think eight other streaming um, channels or sources digital is it's on nine other digital pro uh, platforms as well and um, new episodes premiere every week or every Wednesday on Spotify so today if you are not new if you're new to the tiny studio welcome I'm Nail. if you are not new and you're familiar with the tiny studio you would notice that something is a little off what is it I'm missing a purse there is a purse that resides on that little um, that little a uh, shelf right there as you see there is uh, a crescent oh I am a vintage coach collector. Actually, I'm a I am a vintage coach lover and I am a just I am just a coach, you know, fanatic. So I have lots of coach purses hanging around just chilling <laughs> in my tiny studio. And right now on display, uh for a while now I've had my two favorite bags and my two favorite bags of my collection are the coach crescent bags and so they reside on each of these shelves that 
particular coach is uh, in, um, I want to say, a camel. No, that's not camel. I want to say it's camel. But that's a Coach Crescent in camel. And then I had the Coach Crescent in black. I'm looking for the Crescent in brown and red. But you know, these days, the Coach prices have gone up so much. And I'm talking about used Coach. Those prices are ridiculous. When I first started collecting vintage Coach, I should say, um, maybe about three, four years ago, when I really started collecting vintage Coach, um, the prices were like nothing. All right, it was nothing to go on eBay or Etsy and pick up a vintage coach bag for $25, $30, $40 at the most. But once there became this thing, and I think coach the brand itself has something to do with this, when people began to really start collecting and seeing the value of vintage coach, then the used sales begin to go prices begin to go up then coach itself notice the uh <laughs> the fanaticism of people collecting vintage coach uh handbags and so coach began to buy up uh use coach back use coach handbags and they begin to refurbish them or you know um clean them up and you know, um, fix the hardware or whatever, maybe what may have been wrong with the bag. And after they refurbish it and or remake it or reimagine the bag, then what they do is they put it on their website. And let me tell you how much those bags can go for. You can spend almost up to $800 on a used vintage coach bag if not a little more then if you go on sites like Etsy or Poshmark or the real real sites like that who sell you know that sales use luxury bags you can find a vintage coach bag selling there for nine hundred dollars I mean it's insane and with those prices going up the way they are it is very you know it's very difficult and frustrating to be a collector with a budget <laughs> and I am a collector on a budget I'm not spending over 50 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you I am not spending over $65 on a vintage bag I'm just not I just refuse to and I know how to clean up bags and I know how to you know do some things to them to bring them back to their former glory but I just don't feel comfortable in slapping how slapping down 800 900 what well, I should say like this 600 800 a thousand dollars on a vintage coach bag that's already been used and it's some at the bottom of someone's closet for 20 30 40 years what says and 50 years in in fact I just don't want to do that <laughs> I just don't want to do that I'm not going to do it so I keep my eyes out for you know really good bargains and recently I haven't purchased anything um I let me let me take that back um I should say let me walk that back the last vintage coach purse <clears throat> The last vintage purse that I that I purchased was this court. This court bag right here is the last vintage purchase that I made that I have made and I purchased that bag for $45 and it was in pretty bad shape it was missing a strap so uh, it was missing a strap and it was missing its hand tag and so what I did was I cleaned it up and after I cleaned it up I had an old Betsy um, Johnson um, um, strap that I added and I purchased a hang tag for it and that's it but 
I'm not trying to spend a whole bunch of money on, you know, some used bags. That's not where my focus is right now as far as spending money. That's not what I'm trying to do. But I love a good handbag. And I think I got that from my grandmother and from my mom because they are just clothes hounds. They have so many handbags and so many shoes and hats and clothes. That's just who they are. They pass that right on down to me. And I love it. I love it. My grandmother got me hooked on Prada. So I have several I have several Pradas. There I think these are two and then I have um a couple of more Pradas in my closet and um I'm a Prada person too. My grandmother got hooked me got me got me hooked on Prada. So I am a clothes person uh, an, an accessories person and I'm also a jewelry designer so yeah, as you see this is my my tiny studio my tiny world over here basically features my passions and my loves as an artist and they are handbags jewelry crochet and I you know handle those activities and those those points of artistry all within this tiny studio so today as you notice, I have a bag that's missing, and that is my Coach Crescent. Um, I used it a couple of weeks ago, and I use, I rotate my bags. And so when I finish using them, what I do is I clean them, and then I restuff them, and I put them away. So my Coach Crescent, I used it recently, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to, I think it's already stuffed. I think I already restuffed it, and then I'm going to put it away. Um, this is a Coach bag that needs to be restuffed, and this is... Uh, this is a very old coach bag and it's called the coach sateen as you can see it's in excellent condition by the way excellent condition and I want to say it's an excellent what they call it, excellent youth condition because the gold that's on the straps are starting to wear off if you can tell you can see it the the straps the gold on the straps are wearing off and as you see the ends are starting to wear if you can tell right there the gold is coming off and um it's a pretty good bag. It's a really great bag and I have it out for the spring because you know spring is here and I wore this bag also um, I think maybe about two weeks ago it went with a with a, a, a specific outfit and that's one thing about me as far as when I purchase certain things I'm usually buying them with the view that I have an outfit that will go with it or maybe I can I have several outfits that the bag will look great as an accessory for and this was one of those bags um, I've kept it in pretty good condition I believe this purse is about I think this is maybe a vintage purse as well because basically when you're talking about vintage, you're talking about anything that's over 20 years. And I think this bag is probably about about that old, maybe about that old, 20, 20 or so. And I've had it, oh my God, for so long. And I keep it, um, I keep it wrapped up because I don't, especially with this bag, this is one of the sateen bags. So it's material and it's very soft and silky and satiny. And you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, um, you have to be very careful with it because that's one thing that, you know, what happens when you have, uh, you have handbags that are made out of material or some type of fabric they stain easily and i have to i have to really give myself credit for <laughs> not staining this bag because i you know if i'm in the car they, i'm usually drinking something or 
snacking on something or another and that's how I you know end up getting food or whatever drink on my bags and that has a bad effect on them because sometimes those stains just don't come out so this bag um, let me show you the inside of it oh I also <laughs> I also have a wallet that goes to this bag can you tell you see that yes I'm a little obsessive but yes there's a wallet this is the wallet that goes to this bag so um here's the inside so you can see how beautiful it is and I keep uh, things inside the bag to keep so that it'll keep its shape you see that beautiful satin isn't that beautiful that beautiful pink satin inside of there it's just so pretty Oh, I just love this so much so what I do is I just keep the wallet when I'm not using the purse I just keep the wallet also inside of here and I keep it sealed so what I'm getting ready to do is I'm just going to fill this bag and I keep these uh, little plastic bags that you get from the grocery store I keep them and what I do is I stuff my bags with them all of my handbags have these um plastic bags in them so as they keep their shape and it's really good to do that because you know to find some other use for those little plastic bags you know i it's, it's really what i'm doing is recycling material and that's so much better than putting them in the trash and the next thing you know they're inside of some landfill or in the water you know the water systems of people who are you know less fortunate than you and I may be it doesn't make sense when we get these plastic bags if we so choose to put our groceries in them the most uh, eco-friendly thing that we can possibly do is to recycle them so that's what I do I just put them inside of my handbags and this handbag doesn't have to be cleaned or anything because it's pretty decent I didn't do anything I, I was very careful when carrying it and so um. Oh, this zipper it just kills me sometimes okay there you go all right so it's in pretty decent condition so I just put the plastic bags into the into the oops into my my beautiful coach sateen and now I can put it back in my closet and it would be just as beautiful and It'll still have its shape and everything, and it'll look just as beautiful as it did the day I purchased it from the coach store. And I think I got this coach from, I want to say I got it from the boutique, but I'm not sure if I got this from the boutique or if I got it from the outlet. But let me see. I think I got it from the outlet. It's, it's so I think I did get this from the outlet did I oh yeah I did no 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 I didn't this came from the boutique so it's it's a really one thing about coach is that they're just quality bags and I think that they are trying to get back to you know the quality because for so long um, I want to say within the past 15 years some of their bags just do it just do not have the quality that you know vintage coach you know had or has and vintage coach vintage coach bags they just last forever and if you you know if you take care of them they will last you you they are generational and even for the bags that people 
just forget about vintage coach. I'm talking about vintage coach bags. Those bags that people forget about, they're at the bottom of their of people's basements. I mean, bottom of their closets or stored in basements or attics somewhere. You can pull them out and all you have to do is uh, go through, you know, a few steps to refurbish them or rehab them. And in a, in a week or so, your bag looks like it's, it looks new, totally new. And that's the quality of coach. And the newer coach um, line collections for me, I have not been... Uh, fascinated with them and definitely not enthralled to the point of where I want to purchase them but I have to say that the coach rogue line I am really excited about and I love the coach rogues um, the coach 1941 lines that's a good line I bought my daughter a coach 1941 bag and um, as a matter of fact, she was wearing it the other day. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, you, look at you. But um, that's a good line. I'm trying to think the um, the Basquiat line is a pretty good line as well. And I've had my eye on several uh, Basquiat. So we'll see whether or not to purchase them in the near future or not. But when it comes to buying, like I said, when it comes to buying um, luxury handbags, right now I'm not focusing my budget more so on that. I have some other things that I want to do, but I do have my eye on certain pieces in the new coach collection but i really just stick to what i already have and some vintage i also have some coach bags that are um, the coach um, horse and carriage bags and i have three of those i will i'll share them with you very soon but i am a coach person and i just i just love coach coach is just so awesome <laughs> so anyhow i just finished with that bag and here is um here is my coach crescent bag and as you see she's looking kind of ashy <laughs> she's looking kind of ashy kind of poorly and look there's some food on her and um she just needs to be taken care of so what i do is i use I use the Lexol. Leather cleaner and conditioner. And you can use this in your you see I I just put them I just put them back in the old kind of way. I ain't even care. <laughs> I should have turned them around, but you know, no one's in the tiny studio but me. So who really cares, right? But right now I do, right? So anyhow. They this the Lexol cleans the uh, cleans coach bags so well. Now, yes, coach does have um, they have their own cleaners and whatnot, but for for bags that you buy. Re uh, that you your uh, use bags or re love bags that you may find at uh, consignment shops or at um, thrift stores or the Goodwill, they need to be cleaned up. And yes, the coach cleaners they work, but for things that you're picking up from the thrift store or the Goodwill, sometimes they need to be those items may need to be restored to its former glory like my um, coach court did. The uh, coach cleaners I didn't even bother to use them on my court. I just went ahead and used the uh, the Lexol on them because uh, I knew that I I knew that I was going to need something strong and so this is the leather cleaner and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cleaner on this on this puff <laughs> 
<laughs> and you just need a little bit. This I, I better make sure this is the cleaner because the last time I did this, I thought I was cleaning and I was really conditioning. So what I did was, is it packed? Oh, I did. I did. I packed it. Okay, so I already packed my bag. Let me let you see what the Coast Crescent looks like. Okay. Oh, look. I still have some. Okay. So, this is the inside of the Coast Crescent. It has a uh, a cloth lining, and then just a hollowed inside, and then you have, of course, a back pocket. Can you see it? You have a, a nice back pocket. Oh, they're like a charm from one of my bracelets. Okay, so this is the... Let me read to you what the... The Coach Crescent is a 9338. And when you're looking at coach bags, especially vintage coach bags, and I think a lot, some coach bags have that today. I'm not sure though. The coach is known for having the creed. And their creed is this patch that's right here underneath the back pocket. And basically what that creed tells you is it tells you the month and the year that the bag was made and then there's the style number and so that style number is going to tell you that this is the crescent bag so you can easily look up the style number on google to find it and there are other places where if you're not sure um, if your coach bag is authentic or not then there are places on the internet that can help you like i'm in a group right now called vintage coach and uh, Vintage Coach Lovers, oh, I love that group. But you can go in that group and they have a lot of people in there that authenticate uh, coach bags. Or you can go to the uh, purse form. When I first started collecting, the purse form was a great uh, place online that you can look. And you can um, discuss with people your, with you know, your coach fetish. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm really not one that is in love with uh, uh, linings that are made of cloth but and the reason why is because as you probably already know if you are a person that carries pens pencils gum candy <laughs> and lipstick any of those things you know that those things end up staining the lining so most of my bags uh, in recent years, within the last 20 years, I try to stay away from a, a, a lining that I cannot clean. And the thing with Vintage Coach is that the lining inside of the bag is just raw leather. So you don't have to really worry about that. But um, my Prada bags have uh, this, this satiny lining, which is dark. Which is, which is black, I should say, so I don't really worry too much when I use them about staining them. But this bag has come out, it's been, you know, holding up pretty good, I think. It's been holding up pretty good, if you can tell. You can tell it's been holding up pretty well. So I'm going to restuff her so she can hold her shape and look as gorgeous as her sister up there. But what do you use? to restuff your to stuff your purse or your handbag or your uh um or your um briefcase leather briefcases do you restuff them do you use uh bubble wrap or tissue paper I've heard people using uh, 
old shirts, old sweaters, socks, pillowcases, all of those things. What do you use to restuff your bags? And you know, I didn't always, you know, stuff my bags. I didn't learn to start doing that. I just never did that. I didn't learn the necessity of re, you know, of stuffing your bags until maybe 10 years ago. I really because I just kept them piled, I kept my purses piled up <laughs> in my closet. You know, that's how I kept them. I kept them piled up in my closet or I would keep them just, you know, arranged really nice and neatly on the shelf in my closet. I never thought about stuffing them and I will always get upset when I will wear a particular bag and the bag would be out of shape and it just looked terrible and I would end up just tossing it because I would be, excuse me, I would be frustrated. But now I understand that you have to um you have to stuff them so that they can keep their shape so i usually i stuff them and then here's the straps this particular bag the crescent bag as many vintage coach bags do they have removable straps so what i do is when i finish of course i stuff it i remove the straps and i'm going to put the straps inside the bag so the next time i wear it it'll be there and the reason why I remove my straps from the bag from especially from my uh, vintage coach bags that are detachable to have detachable straps is because I find that the straps have a way of curling at the ends and I haven't figured out why they curl at the ends like they do so I just decided to remove them and wrap them up and just caught wrap them up you know in a coil and just put them away and for me I found that when I put the, the the straps back on the bags later when I'm a when I'm going to use them I don't see that um, you know that uh, curling at the ends anymore but um I suppose that everyone has their way of figuring out how to you know deal with that subject but for me that was my thing I just didn't like the way the the straps curl and I just decided to start removing them and you know you have to put the straps away if you don't put the straps away they will get lost and then boom there you go all right so now I am going to clean this and I'm just really going to clean it the front of it because that's the part that was really you know had food on it now hit the back a little bit and as you see it, the food stain came off and that's why I like the, the Lexol you know it does such a great job and this bag is already in such wonderful condition so it really doesn't take much but you know for me when I jump in a car well when I jump in my truck <laughs> And the first thing I'm doing is I'm tossing my purse over to the passenger seat or I'm tossing it in the bag and you know sometimes it falls on the floor and whatnot and so your bag can easily you know get dirty but as you see just from what I did just that light that light cleaning that was really light the bag has you know basically you know that little food stain that was right there is gone so the bag is basically you know back to its former glory just like that isn't that something and 
that's why I love Coach Bass because they are so forgiving, you know. And I'm sometimes I'm so hard and rough on bags, and I just don't be thinking about my bag, you know. And I'm putting them on the floor, or I'm tossing them onto the um, the dashboard, or I'm doing something. I'm not thinking. This is my favorite Coach bag. I have to treat it like this and that and the other. I'm not thinking about that when I'm out and about. When I'm at the grocery store and I'm tossing my my coach bag into my cart, you know, I'm not thinking about, oh, this is my precious coat bag. Don't let I don't want to spill things on it. And I'm not thinking about those things. And you probably don't either when you're out and about with your your hand your favorite handbag. But you know, when you find a brand like Coach that's forgiving, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is when you finish wearing it clean it and condition it and put it aside and put it up so basically I've cleaned this up and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to condition it and I already have a towel for that and it's only going to need a little bit. I'm only going to need a little bit of conditioner <clears throat> because I keep, like I said, I keep my bags. Oops, I keep my bags conditioned already, so I really don't need to do a lot. And it only needs, it only takes a dab for me. And I just get around in the corners, get the bottom, and you see it's shining up. You see that? Oh wow, look at that. So so beautiful. There. And that's just the conditioner. See what a difference that made? See what a difference conditioner can make on your handbag. And there. I have cleaned and conditioned my vintage Coach Crescent bag. And so now she can go back to her spot on my shelf in my tiny studio her place of reverence <laughs> I love this bag and I will tell you why what I love the most about my crescent bags and the reason why I'm obsessed with coach crescent it's the shape <laughs> number one it's the shape the shape is just so cool I mean look at that the shape is just uh it's just so cool. I love it so much. And also the fact that she is a workhorse. She can carry anything. Well, she can't carry a, a tablet, <laughs> but she can carry a whole lot of other stuff inside this bag because the inside is so big. And you can tell from the bottom because it's so wide. The bottom is so wide. And not only that, she has, I have stuff in here, <laughs> the things we carry in our purses. And the, the slip pocket on the back is wide and it's deep. Can you see that? It's wide and deep. What's that? See what I'm talking about? Here's a pen. <laughs> it's just, it's just, wow, you can put a lot of stuff in there. You can put your, you know, of course you can. Put your cell phone in here. Your, uh, you can put some uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, hand sanitizer. You can put your wipes right in this back pocket here. Easy access without you having to go inside the bag. And one of the other cool things about this crescent bag is that it's it's a turn lock. You see that? It's a turn lock, and it's easy to open, easy to close.
it's just such a great great bag um I have a coach charm on and I'm looking I'm currently looking for another charm for this bag um, and I'm thinking about making some charms for her and for a couple of my vintage bags that I love the most that I love so much and I'm thinking about making some purse charms for her for her sister and I have another bag that I've been uh, thinking about that in my mind I have already envisioned what the purse charms are going to be so I just have to check into my um, I just have to check my my jewelry um, go into my little jur jewelry studio and see what uh, bobs and fobs I have in there to make a purse charm and I'm sure I have something but as you see this she has cleaned up so well so well look at the bottom ah uh, you see she's shining uh-huh look at the back she cleaned up so well so beautifully and that is why I just love her I love the coach crescent she is a nine three three eight 9338 and sometimes she comes up on the the pre-love market and when you find her and she comes in the uh, camel she comes in black she comes in red and I saw one in brown or mahogany so I'm trying to acquire the red and I'm trying to acquire the mahogany but you know as I said I'm on a budget so the last time that I saw a crescent on uh, a crescent on the pre-love market and it was a red crescent I you know I bid it on her and when the set when the bid when the bids went over 50 bucks I was out <laughs> I was out because I'm not trying to, you know, that's not how I'm trying to spend my money. So hopefully I will run across her brothers and sisters and I will at the right price and I will, you know, snatch her up. And like I said, I'm not the type of person where she has to be in perfect condition. I already know how to, you know, clean and take care of, um, a bag that's been uh, pre-loved and ready to be re-loved <laughs> again I know how to do it so I'm not you know I'm not trying to you know get a bag that's, that someone has already um, refurbished and rehabbed and all of those wonderful things I'm not looking for that and I'm guessing that's why the prices are so high now on the pre-love market is because you know a lot of people are buying up you know and finding the vintage coach bags and what they're doing is they are um, rehabbing them and that takes time you know to rehab and you know possibly refurbish and do all the things that to bring uh, a vintage coach back to his former glory and that takes lots of time hours you know manpower woman power all of that and I do understand that that is what figures into the prices being so expensive but you know my thing is um, for the bags that have not been <laughs> rehabbed for the bags that have not been uh, dunked and cleaned and conditioned and, you know, all of those wonderful things to it. Why are they so expensive? I don't know. I don't I don't understand that. That's the mystery. And that's what baffles me. All right. So uh, thank you for tuning in today as I cleaned and condition my vintage coach crescent bag and as I said she is my one of my besties and she's about to hang out with her sister up there on the wall or back on her perch over there on the other side and uh, let me kiss her mm, I love you baby I love you <laughs> and I oh 
Oh, what I forgot to tell you is that the leather or vintage coach bags are so wonderful. They feel so good. And I'm guessing this is the reason why vintage coach is just so beloved and the, the, the value, the value of a vintage coach that's the reason why it appreciates the way that it does it's because the leather is none it's 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 none you cannot compare it to any other vintage leather bag you just can't it's something about it's something that coach does to their leather that makes them extremely soft, extremely comfortable to wear. And the craftsmanship is just second to none. Okay, second to none. What does that mean? Coach vintage leather products are number one, flat out. Believe it. <laughs> and I'm not just saying it. The experts say so as well. And that's why I love this crescent. Because I'm holding it up right now. And it's so lightweight. But I smell it. Ah, oh, it smells like the most beautiful, beautiful leather. And it is so soft. Oh my God. Coach leather is just, oh. oh that's why we have, that's why... <laughs> That's why we have these affairs with our coach bag. That's why coach bags are just, you know, we just love our coach products because they are just, they just feel good. You know, they feel like you want to hug it and rub on it all the time. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for tuning in today. And maybe the next time we get together I will show you another one of my favorite coach bags or maybe I'll give you a tour of Miss Court right there or um, my city bags I have several city bags maybe you would want to check those out as well but we'll see but this is the coach crescent and as you see I got that food Got those food stains off of her and I conditioned her and she is looking really good. So thank you for tuning in to uh, Simply Nails Tiny Studio and I will check you out next time. Bye bye.